So the rapid, uh, rapid fire, which uh, uh, I explained is entering service first in the uh, naval uh, arena, uh, is also, uh, in terms of its mission, its uh, primary anti-air mission, uh, can also be declined uh, in the land sector, uh, where indeed there is uh, an increasing uh, uh, requirement, uh, specifically uh, with regard to, uh, to drones. So uh, weighing only three tons, it means that the rapid fire can be uh, integrated on uh, uh, more or less uh, any platform uh, from a 6x6. Uh, and indeed, uh, we have uh, uh, plans uh, underway at the moment to integrate this system on our own Titus vehicle. Uh, the advantages of the 40CT system uh, are not uh, purely uh, kept for land systems. Uh, of course, even on uh, uh, naval mounts, uh, the idea of having a system which is, uh, is compact, doesn't take much volume, but a lot of uh, 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 terminal efficiency uh, is important. And to that end, uh, with TALUS, Nexter is now in development of uh, the rapid fire system. Uh, we've uh, been contracted by the DGA, De full development is underway, and this system should be entering service uh, from about 2023. Uh, the system itself is uh, uh, represented by this model on, uh, on my right. So associated with this program is also the development of a specific round of ammunition to uh, ensure the anti-air mission. Uh, so this uh, round of ammunition with uh, pre-fragmented -frag pellets is designed to actually uh, engage and uh, be effective against a whole range of air targets from drones uh, to light aircraft, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, and missiles. Um, what I'd like to do uh, now, if I may, is just uh, talk briefly about the 40 millimeter CTA cannon. That's the uh, latest cannon in our um, uh, inventory uh, that uh, is just entering service uh, in UK, in France, and in Belgium. Uh, what makes this uh, cannon novel uh, is uh, really the uh, case telescoped uh, technology. Uh, this enables us uh, to have uh, package uh, high levels of lethality in a very, very small uh, um, uh, overall envelope. And so it's perfectly adapted to uh, the medium weight uh, kind of vehicles. Uh, and just as an illustration, uh, this ammunition, the case telescoped, has the same power as this 40 millimeter conventional round. The, um, compactness of the 40 uh, CT system. We have here in the, on my, uh, uh, my left uh, the case telescoped uh, round and uh, it has exactly the same power as the ammunition that I have in my uh, right hand, the 40L70. So this makes uh, the system uh, very, very compact and operationally uh, massively interest, interesting. So Titus uh, is uh, the vehicle behind me, not the first time it's been in uh, IDEX, but uh, since the last edition uh, uh, we're pleased to have had uh, two commercial successes, uh, so now uh, Titus is absolutely in production. Uh, here the version that we brought uh, is, uh, is a version which is uh, 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 enabled uh, digitally. Um, we have uh, the similar sort of connectivity that uh, have been mentioned with regard to uh, the ability to deploy drones. Uh, we have uh, also uh, the ability to uh, harbour and uh, host uh, ground robots, uh, which enables us to uh, really consider this vehicle as a uh, reconnaissance uh, type asset. Uh, it is also uh, equipped with a remote weapon station. Uh, to sort of uh, uh, f uh, complete uh, the overall uh, uh, operational uh, interest of this particular variant. I ought to just mention that uh, our partner, uh, Tatra, uh, Tatra who uh, provide the mobility system for, uh, for this vehicle. And uh, if there's one thing that makes this 6x6 unique in the marketplace is absolutely the performance of the mobility system.